to learn Malin super underspin serves in order to impress your friends or improve your games. Great, you've come to the right place. Congratulations! Spin is very important to good serves and that depends on how, how well and how deeply you can brush the ball. And uh, a very good way is to practice in, on a bed. You can watch more YouTube videos while you practice your serve. You can even eat at the same time. No, not that. Moreover, you can actually see how spinny your serves are. So after you get a feeling of brushing the ball, now we can move to the actual techniques. Uh, first of all, how do you hold your racket? Um, normally I would uh, crawl my th three fingers back here uh, to allow my wrist to move freely, but in this case I would recommend you to put your three fingers on the side of the racket like this. Uh, because that gives you the extra spin and power of the ball. In order to have heavy spin, uh, first thing you have to uh, swing your arm back in order to have momentum. Then uh, there are two tips uh, when you contact the ball. So at the moment your racket touches the ball, tighten your grip. So like like this, your three fingers and uh, uh, your thumb and the one at the back. Then in order for the ball to come back to have enough backspin and Backwards momentum, you have to tilt the racket backwards a little bit when you contact the ball. So if you do it simultaneously, it will look something like this. And then an uh, important thing is uh, you don't follow through the ball and follow through the motion. You have to stop after you contact the ball. And the finish motion just right here. And then tightening the grip helps you to stop and give it an extra kick. And also, tilting back it gives you the ability to control how much force you want to put on the ball. And also, it gives you more spin. So, practice using this technique. Remember to only contact the ball uh, from the bottom because you want pure backspin. You don't want any, on any size on it because that would weaken your backspin. And you would see your ball coming straight back towards you. So that means you have a good solid backspin. So after you get consistent in this practice, um, we can now uh, move to the actual position uh, of your serve. So first off, um, don't toss it that high like Malin did, but uh, start with uh, low toss and then try to lower your arc a little bit because you've been practicing like this. And uh, in order to do that, first you have to lower your center of gravity. Then use the same motion. Remember not to follow through. And then just stop there. And then if you find your ball, uh, if you uh, have trouble hitting the ball or the ball doesn't go over the net, like this, then uh, the problem might be you're uh, brushing the ball too thinly. Uh, you have to add a little bit more power and hitting the ball more directly. So add more power. And then if you find your ball moving too fast or uh, is jumping out of the table, then adjust it so it would be um, the normal uh, stretch and uh, brushing versus hitting ratio and then uh, try to con get consistent at that. Uh, so another very important thing is when you serve you have to use your whole body um, in coordination with your um, arm that you're using. Um, so it's basically uh, you have to rotate your waist so something like this. And that also helps you get back into your normal position.
And now if you're comfortable at serving um, short toss, then we can move on to the high toss. And uh, for high toss, there are a um, couple of important points. So first is your timing. When the ball is going up, simultaneously you should swing back your arm. And then when the ball drops um, at around uh, the same height as your um, chest, around this area, that's the best um, timing to contact the ball. Another important thing is um, if you want to serve short, then your first, uh, your bounce on your side of the table should uh, be around the middle area of your table. And uh, it can't be too close to the edge or the net, or it won't be short. And then give it a go. After a couple of tries, you will notice that uh, the spin has increased because um, the ball, uh, the higher the ball is, the more momentum it carries and adds to spin. But at the same time, uh, it's got more force, so you don't have to add too much forward force for it to go over the net. So after you get comfortable in the high high toss serve, the final garnish would be fake motions. You notice that um, Malin he uses a lot of fake motions. So after he contacts the ball, he would um, move away or um, move back his arm. So that would uh, disguise his spin and also um, the direction of the ball. Hope you enjoyed learning Malin's Go Surf. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section. And and also who serve you would like me to imitate next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.